Alrighty, YouTube. This is Remy, the Phoenix, and we are playing Pokemon today. Uh, this is going to be an ongoing series, probably a pretty long one. Um, but this is not the original gold version. It's Heart Gold, and it's not even Heart Gold. It's Sacred Gold, which is a um, ROM hack for Heart Gold. Uh, okay, so, as you can see, Sacred Gold, Storm Silver. Uh, the reason I'm choosing this, other than just doing regular Heart Gold, is A, it's all-inclusive, meaning I can get any Pokémon. I don't have to trade, I don't have to do special things, yada yada yada. Um, and I can catch all Pokémon regardless of version. Uh, however, that's not the only change it makes. It makes it so that it's very, very difficult. It's it's just more challenging, I guess. And Professor Oak, being blind, cannot tell if we're male or female. Um, I would like to comment that this is the only female sprite in all the Pokemon games that I actually dislike. Usually the guy's kind of just bland. Um, this one's actually alright, but sometimes it's just kind of like, eh, for the guy. Uh, so we're going to name ourselves Remy here. And I will get more into what exactly entails the difference between this and the original game. There's a few text differences, there's um, a few little sequences that aren't in the original, uh, but the main purpose of it is to make the game harder and all-inclusive. And here we go on our adventure. Now, this is going to be somewhat... its I hesitate to call it a Nuzlocke because it's not following the Nuzlocke rules. But it's going to be a hardcore game, where if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. There's a limit on how many Pokemon I can catch. Um, and things of that nature. And I will get into those after we get our first starter. Uh, but right now, I want to... Actually, no, yeah, we can get into the rules now. Um, so, for those of you who haven't really ever played or seen a Pokemon game being played. This will all be fairly new, and you you should be able to catch on fairly quickly without me explaining in over detail. Uh, so I'm not going to really explain the rules to a newbie. It's going to be to somebody who's at least played a Pokemon game before. But um, I'm going to do the uh, first Pokemon you see per area is the Pokemon you have to catch. Uh, that would be Nuzlocke. I'm going to do what I consider to be, and a lot of other people consider to be, the hardcore version. And I'm going to make it the first two Pokemon per area are the Pokemon that I'm allowed to catch. Um, I'm kind of following along with the rules of a guy, YouTuber and streamer, Twitch streamer, uh, named Rob. He, uh, I, I think he calls it Hardcore 2, if I'm not mistake, mistaken. Um, we're going to select a starter Pokemon, um, and I would like to preface the selection of the starter. I despise Chikorita with such a passion that I'm going to pick Cyndaquil, which is the hardest of the three selections. Just so my rival has Totodile, making it so that I see Chikorita less. So we're going to pick Cyndaquil here. Um, and, uh, yes. And we're going to name him. That's another rule, is you have to name every Pokemon that you catch as long as you are prompted to. Um, obviously we're not going to trade, but you can't name off trades. Uh, so that wouldn't be 
a problem here, but sometimes in-game trades are named and you don't get the ability to name that. Oops. Um... So I'm going to name my Cyndaquil Calcifer, which is a reference to a Hao Miyazaki movie. Uh, no. I forget Miyazaki's first name. But the name of the movie is Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, and Calcifer is like a fallen star spirit demon thing that turns into fire and... Yeah. Fire demon, basically. So it makes sense. And he sends us on a quest to the most original name in Pokemon gaming of all time, Mr. Pokemon's house. And then he gives us some potions, which is, thank God, in this game. Because Cyndaquil is really vulnerable here at the beginning. He can be one-shot by a couple Pokemon. Even though he's level 5 and they're like level 3. He can still be one-shot. Um, so anyway, back to the rules. Uh, it's the first two Pokemon per area, and I'm going to go along with what Rob says. Uh, Rob is also the guy who does the Dwarves vs. Zombies stuff for Minecraft. Um, and if you know him from there, you might be saying, I've never seen him do Pokemon. Well, he has a separate channel for that on YouTube. Uh, and we got to go talk to our mo mother. Uh, so yes, first two Pokemon per area. And a bonus Pokemon for water. Water is considered its own area. If an area is entirely water, then I just get those standard two Pokemon per area. Um, what else? What else, what else, what else? I don't think there are any completely water areas in this Pokemon game, though. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think there are. Um... Yes, I remember how to use the puppy gear. Uh, and then Rob also does gym catches, which after you beat a gym leader and get a gym badge, you can name a Pokemon that then next time you encounter that Pokemon you can catch. Kind of a thing. And Professor Elm is going to come out and give us his phone number. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that's the basics of the rules. Uh, I am going to go against what Rob says, and event Pokemon I am going to take. Um, they're kind of like freebies, I get them in bonus to my other Pokemon. Now, this is where the rules get accepted right off the bat, right? Usually this would be the first Pokemon that I get to catch, but seeing as I actually physically can't catch any Pokemon this early on, it does not count. It doesn't count until I am handed Pokeballs by the game, um, which happens to be after we go get the egg uh, from Mr. Pokemon, the mystery egg. Uh, but we will get actually get a Pokemon before we can catch Pokemon here because of the uh, hacked version from hack. Which is cool. It's an Eevee. Um, and actually, let's, uh, let me, let me, oh, I didn't mean to talk to him, but okay. He's poking at the ground. That's interesting. All right, so we're going to take a look at our Calcifer. Now, this series isn't just going to be me playing the game. I'm also going to analyze Pokemon as a game um, in depth, how the game works. So, our Calcifer actually has... Okay, stats. Um, and it's got the kind of standard... It's not the only ability that you can get from a starter Pokemon. Um, but it's pretty much standard to get the uh, Blaze or whatever you know, it is for their uh, type. Or Fire, so we get Blaze, which powers up Fire-type moves when you're low health. Which is alright, but you never really want to be low health in this game. Um, so we're going to run to this next town here. 
And then we're going to talk to an old man. He's going to take us around town showing us stuff. He's a spry old man, because watch him run off here. Look at that. When I'm running with my running shoes, I'm not even that fast. Alright, so this is the Pokemon Center. I'm going to go over this just because the game does. Um, for those of you who haven't played Pokemon, this is where you heal Pokemon. Uh, this is the Pokemart. This is where you can buy things like Pokeballs, potions... It, just items to help you. Um, and then this is the next route. This would be considered a new area. The town itself is an area. Each individual route is an area. Caves are individual areas. Safari zones an area, etc, etc, etc. Basically, if it comes up at the top of the screen and says another name, it's considered a new area. Um, and this is water which means that I can actually catch two Pokemon in the town because there is water that is part of the town. Um, there's not a new area there. I mean, there is if you go out a little bit, I think, but... Alright, and here's his house, and he gives us the old rod, which will allow us to catch water Pokemon, although that's incredibly stupid to do right now because I have a Fire-type, and only a Fire-type. Alright, so let's run up this way. We actually don't need to heal our Cyndaquil. Alright, now he's going to run up and give us a map attachment for a Pokegear, which is cool. Very good old man. Spry. He must be, like, out jogging every day kind of a thing. Um, but the uh, map won't come in handy this early on. Uh, and this is an example of being all-inclusive. I don't think... Well, actually, no. Lady Bomb was second generation. Um, but, I don't think you could catch Lady Bomb this early. And if you could... Maybe you could. I might be mistaken about that. Uh, but there, we'll find Pokemon that are from, like, even the next generation after this. After Gold and Silver. Even though I think they were in Heart Gold and Heart Silver. Er, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Lady Buff fainted. We get level 6, which is freaking awesome. And we learn Smoke Screen, which is kind of weird. It's the. Cyndaquil is the only one that doesn't learn its type move right off the bat, it learns Smoke Screen. Which isn't a fire move. I think it's a normal move, actually. Yeah, normal. I think you have to get to, like, level 10 or something before you learn Ember. Ooh, Caterpillar Snore? You see, that's another thing. They kind of mess with the moves that certain Pokémon learn, and when they learn them. And it just makes the game tougher. I think they calculate damage a little bit different, too. Um, I'm not sure about if they calculate XP different or not, but definitely makes things more difficult. And he's debuffing my speed like a madman. They make debuffs actually more effective, I believe. Um, just a bit. Alright, let's see, what is this? A potion! Yay, that's a good thing to have. Alright, let's go up here, and this guy's gonna come out and talk to us because he's cool like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna tell us, or he's, yeah, he's gonna tell us about apricorns, and then he's gonna give us a box to hold apricorns in, and then we're gonna go steal the apricorn out of the tree next to his house. Come on. Yay. Um. So after I get our first or our second Pokemon here. I'm going to kind of do a comparison and talk about the stats. Uh, I won't spend too much time on it right off the bat, but I'll kind of touch all the different numbers that are behind the steam, behind the steam, behind the scenes with stats. Um, and there are quite a lot of numbers that actually go into how good your Pokemon can be. It's kind of insane how in-depth it is. Alright, 
right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we are running from this, because Cricketots can know the move Bide, which, if you accidentally hit them when they're using it, can, like, one-hit KO you. Alright. So we're almost there, Lady Ba. We can take on the Lady Ba. Alright, tackle. I really wish he learned Ember. Bug Bite. Ooh, that crits for a lot. I, I'm pretty sure Bug Bite crits for a lot. Don't crit, don't crit. I think it has a high crit, too. High crit chance. Okay. Um, which is, this should get us to level 7. And now the Eevee we're yet we get up here is only going to be level 5, so the stats initially aren't be, aren't going to be good, but I wrote down the level 5 stats of Calcifer here. So this is Cynthia. She's actually from generation... what? 4? Yeah. Maybe she came on before 4. I can't remember. Um, but she tells us this weird story that I'm not going to read, uh, and then gives us an Eevee. I will read other characters. I'll even do voices, I'm sure. But this early on, it's kind of just like you have this wall of text that comes at you before you actually start the game. Um, technically, this has started the game because we're battling and stuff, but it's kind of like... It, it doesn't really matter. Um, and since we're playing in a hard mode, it does matter if I were to have a Pokemon faint, because I'd have to release it. Um... Yes, we're going to give a name to Eevee. Of course we are. Um, hmm. Let's just name him uh, after one of my favorite Shakespeare plays. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, what am I doing? Hamlet. Okay. And then she goes on to say, Eevee can evolve in several different ways, so its possibilities are endless. Alright, so let's take a look at our Pokemon here. Alright, now... Uh, let's, ju let's just go to Eevee. Eevee has the adaptability, which powers up moves of the same type, um, which means normal type moves deal more damage, which is nice while it's an Eevee but its ability will change when it evolves, so... Um, natures, which are... I have a, at the top of the screen there, you can see Jolly Nature. And then the other thing to look at is down at the bottom of that same little page thing. It says Strong-Willed. Um, those affect your stats. Uh, it... I think it means that you get a better... You get initial EVs, which stand for effort values. Not EV as in this guy, EV as in effort value. Um, Pokemon start off with a set of IVs, individual value, which can't be changed. Um, and they basically are the basis of the Pokemon's, how good the Pokemon is in certain areas. And each individual, like, species of Pokémon levels up in a different way. Uh, so, like, Cyndaquil here is a fast and special attacker. Um, and actually, it's got a Jolly Nature and Strong-Willed. I forget what Strong-Willed means, but Jolly Nature means that it has a better at special attack and a worse speed than usual. Um, but those are just IVs, or those are just EVs, not IVs. You can change EVs. It's hard to do in the beginning, but you can change them. Um, so if we take a look at our Hamlet here, he's got 20 HP. Um, Cyndaquil only had 19. He's got 11 attacks. Cyndaquil had 11 attack. He's got 10 defense. Cyndaquil only had 9 defense. He's got 11 special attack, Cyndaquil only had 9 special attack. He's got 13 special defense, Cyndaquil only had 11 special defense. And he's got 9 speed, Cyndaquil had 12 speed. So, you know, 
this EV is actually better than our Cyndaquil as an attacker and as a defender, but our Cyndaquil is going to hit first every time. Um, and since we're already higher level, he's probably the better choice at the moment, unless he's up against something that can one-shot him. Um, because he won't one-shot things this early. But we can get more into the stats later. Um, I'll explain EVs later. Let's go in and talk to the uh, Mr. Pokemon and the Professor. He's going to give us the mystery egg here. Yay, it's Tokopi. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is kind of off today. I was up late. Um, so the... Let's see. The best thing to do is uh, figure out what the next gym is and try and get Pokemon that are at least not going to be one-shot by those kind of Pokemon. Now, the hack changes up the Pokemon, so I can't go online for, like, a guide as easily as I could for the just generic heart gold. Um, but I have actually had played this before uh, up to the first gym. Uh, the game froze on me, so I'm going to be saving after uh, pretty much every 30 minutes. This first episode is going to go a little bit longer, but that's when I'm going to divide up the episodes so that if it does freeze on me, I'll just reset from back to the next, last episode. Uh, and you'll just never see the glitchy stuff unless something interesting happens and I'm just like, hey, this was kind of funny. Um, so, let's actually, since, oh, yeah, Professor Pokemon, or no, uh, Professor Elm's gonna call us. Freaking out because he just got broke it in to on. Alright, let's get this pink epicorn. Yay. And then we should probably... Sw whoops. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we should probably switch up Hamlet and Calcifer here. Now, there's one stat that I haven't talked about yet, and that's the gender stat, or gender value. Sorry, value. Um, gender value, you would think it just determines the gender. Well, that's what it's for, but the number also affects the actual IVs that the Pokemon starts with. And rule of thumb is that female have the better IVs. Now, not all Pokemon have genders, so you can't always tell, but usually you want a female version of your Pokemon over a male, especially in hardcore runs like this. Um, it just makes things easier. Like, a lot easier. Uh, to not have to worry if you... Like, because it's possible... I believe it's impossible to get the absolute worst of that kind of Pokemon if it's female. But it is possible to get the absolute worst if it's male. Uh, so, like, this Surskit here... This Surskit could one-hit Calcifer because of Bubble Beam. Just one hit. But Hamlet doesn't do that much damage to. And the Surskit and Hamlet are at the same level. Calcifer is like level 8 or something. I actually don't know what level he is right now. Surskit fainted. Okay. Um... Now, early on, it's not going to seem like it's that hardcore of a run, because I'll probably be doing okay. But trust me, the f once we get to the town with the first gym, it'll start getting quite difficult for us. You know what? Screw it. Let's get away. I, I, I just want to catch Pokemon. We need... Oh, God. 
I kind of wanted to end this before, or yeah, right after we caught our first two Pokemon. Or right after we got to the town with the first gym. Uh, and we are going to run from Weedle just to make sure we don't get poisoned. Crap. Never mind. Apparently we are going to get poisoned anyway. Crit? Really? He crit? He crit. Um, hold on, we're switching to Calcifer. Uh, I do have a lot more time on this one. I'm kind of... not really counting all the time I've been playing into the 30 minutes. Um, you know what? No, 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 no. Calcifer is fast. We can get away with Calcifer. Okay. Please let me have an antidote. If not... Yes, good. Because um, uh, poison deals damage like every few steps. And that's bad. So, Hamlet could have died there if we didn't have a, any potions or an antidote. Antidote cures poison, potions heal you for damage. So I could have just kept healing him until we got to the Pokemon Center, which resolves everything. Alright. So this is Pokemon Center. We're gonna see this a lot. You're gonna hear this music a lot. You're gonna hear that dun 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 a lot. That right there. Just because of the nature of the hardcore run of this game. Now, like I said, we're going to be talking a lot about the statistics and the thought process behind the game and where it's good, and we're going to fight a rival here, and it's not that big a deal. Um, but it's this series is going to kind of be alongside the Remy's Roguelike Rampage series where I kind of look at roguelike games or roguelike S games and, you know, dissect them, review them um, from a game creation point of view. I'm going to do that with this. Now, obviously, this isn't a roguelike. This is a turn-based battle system game. I forget what it's called, like the abbreviation for it, but it's not a roguelike. So it doesn't fall into that series, and this game is long enough to warrant its own series. In fact, it's... I think Gold... Heart Gold might be one of the longest Pokémon games out to date. And the newest Pokémon games just came out, like, a week or two ago. I think it was just a week ago. Can't remember. I didn't get it because I don't have a 3DS. It is the first Pokemon... It is... No, 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 no. It's the second game to ever actually make me buy a console, or want to buy a console for a game. I... I actually had, didn't buy the console, my parents did, but I got the Nintendo 64 specifically for Super Smash Brothers. Or not Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, the first one. Um... Alright. And from a game design point of view, I like this rival because he's a jerk to you. And it feels better to beat somebody who's a jerk to you than somebody who's just there pretending to be your friend because it's scripted into the game. Um, and I know that he, him being a jerk is scripted into the game too, but it there's a difference. Um, it's hard to script into a game, especially that somebody's your friend, but it's easy to script into a game that somebody's being a jerk to you. Um, and it's better for the story and everything. Storyline. Come on. Alright. So, we're finally up here. We're gonna name our rival. This police officer is gonna blame us, then we're gonna name our rival. And then we're going to give the egg to Professor Elm. And then we're going to go talk to her mom. And she's going to promise to save some of our money. And then... And then... We finally get Pokeballs from this little girl here. That's right, this little girl gives us our balls. Fifteen of them, to be exact. Alright, so we're going to name him Jimmy. 
just because I'm an uncreative bastard, and Jimmy is funny to say. Jimmy! Jimmy. Alright, so the police officer goes off, little girl talks to us, doesn't give us Pokeballs, but talks to us. Um, Professor Elm is, like, dumbfounded at the fact that we give him a Pokemon egg. Watch, watch, see, see? He, he jumped backwards, he's that surprised. Have you ever been so surprised that you jump backwards when it's not from, like, fear? Because that's like a fear response, not a holy crap, this is like an amazing thing discovery response. Alright, um... And then he, like, praises us and tells us to go do the gym stuff, because Professor Oak thought we were good enough to fill out the Pokedex. Yada yada yada, yada yada, yada yada. And then he tells us to go talk to our mom before we leave on our journey, because she might be concerned. And the game won't let us actually leave this town until we talk to her again, so we have to talk to her. And it's, I think, I'm not sure if this happens in Heart Gold, but I think in the original ones, or at least Crystal. I have Gold, Crystal, and Heart Gold. But for some reason, I remember Crystal the best. Um, but I think if you let her save up money, save up your money, uh, once you reach so much money, she, like, gets you presents and stuff or something. Just kind of, like, random items. Alright, so this little girl, gonna give us her Pokeballs, teach us how to catch Pokemon, but not really, because the, uh, ROM hack changes that, which is nice, because it's always just an annoying thing to go through. Um, and I kind of like this depiction of it, because it's... That's how you catch Pokemon, kids. You jump around in grass with your Pokemon for, like, three seconds, and then, bam, you got Pokemon. Alright, so we have 15 Pokeballs. So the next two Pokemon we run into on this route have to be the ones that we catch. If we miss them, we're out of luck. Alright, so let's see here. This is Route... Okay, New York Town, Route 29, right? Bam! A Sentret, I really didn't want a Sentret, but okay. Oh, we need to heal up actually too. Um, Tackle, I'm not too bugged if this one shots it. Nope, okay, so we can catch it. Ooh, it knows Dizzy Punch, that's actually a decent move. Um, I can confuse, and I think it's a fighting move if I'm not sh It's either fighting or normal. Uh, so we're gonna go back and heal at the lab after we catch this. In fact, I'm gonna switch out to, uh, Hamlet being first. So what should we name Sentret? Let's, let's read its Puka entry. Um, now, Rob, right? Talked about him. He makes the point that all the entries in the Pokedex are like 10-year-olds' version of entries in the Pokedex, because 10-year-olds are all the ones that get Pokedexes to go fill out. So, I agree with him on this. It's kind of hilarious, some of these. Um, I'm not sure if this one's that hilarious, but... A very cautious Pokémon, it raises itself up using its tail to get a better view of its surroundings. So yeah, that was like... Uh, I don't know what to say about this Pokemon, so I'm just gonna say something that is obviously happening. It does kind of describe its behavior, but it doesn't say what's unique about it. Alright, so, this is female centric. Um... Hmm. I'm not sure. Why not... I don't know, I'm thinking of, like, a generic female name. Like... I don't know. Um... Erica? Sure. We'll name it Erica. 
I'm probably not really going to use it. Alright, this one we have to catch as well. It's a Rattata. Now, Rattatas actually can be quite good early on because of their massive speed. And in fact, we forgot to switch out to Hamlet, so let's do that now. Because I really don't want to lose Calcifer. Really don't want to lose Hamlet either, but Hamlet has more HP at the moment. Tail Whip. Alright. I'm not too annoyed at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotcha. You're lowering my defense. You're gonna, like, try and sweep. Oh, I thought he was gonna one-shot it there. I was like, really? I, I'll actually use Rattata this early. Alright, so level 4 female Rattata. Could be a decent Pokemon. Um, let's see. Now, I always name, if I catch a Rattata, I always name it the same thing, regardless of male or female. And, uh, it's actually the name of a band, which I don't really, I mean, some of those songs are right, but I don't really follow them. Um, it eats anything, wherever food is available. It settles down and produces offspring continuously, like normal mice. Why... that's common knowledge kind of a thing. It's not... Alright. Ratatat. Alright, so... Wow, the Rattata is actually a higher level than the Centret, too. Alright, so now this Pokemon, we can't catch any more Pokemon in this area. So this Pokemon is just bloody XP to us. Big, well, not that big, but, you know, sacks of XP. That's what they are now. They're just sacks of XP that have a chance to kill our Pokemon. So let's go heal up. Um... Do, do, do. And I don't believe that there's any water around here. Pretty sure. Oh, there is. Wow. I really don't want to go fishing in it because there might be really scary stuff. And Eevee does not have Runaway. Ooh, Rattata might have Runaway, though. Let's take a look at him. Summary. He's got Hustle. Boosts the attack stat but lowers the accuracy. Not that good. Ooh, Eric has got Pickup. Uh, which means this Pokemon might pick up an item. And Dizzy Punch is a normal one. 70 power, 100%. Wow, 70 power is pretty good for this early. Um, Scratch is only 40. Uh, the foe is hit with rhythmically launched punches. It may also leave it confused. Which is cool. So Dizzy Punch is actually kind of good. You know what? We're going to use Sentret. Oh, yeah. We'll put Sentret in front. Um, I think having it follow you also means that it has a better chance to pick up. Actually, since it's a little sprite there, it looks kind of cool. Um, and we have one more route that we can try out up here. At the moment. Um, but I think it's kind of risky because you can get high level Pokemon here. Um, Route 46. So we're not going to do that quite yet, but we will. We're gonna get to the. We're gonna go on the up path here. Um, and we're not gonna go into any water yet. Although I can technically fish for a Pokemon in this city and the last city. All right. So this one we can catch. I forgot to write down whatever route this is, but a Lotoad or Lotad. All right. You're level 3, it's level 4. I think you can take a hit, though, so we're just going to Dizzy Punch it. Water Gun. Ooh, that's a special attack. I'm not sure what your defense is. Okay, I didn't do much. Never mind. You're good. Wow, Dizzy Punch didn't do that much. Astonish. Doesn't affect you. You're normal. It's Ghost. Um, Lotoad is an alright Pokemon. Early on, it's decent because it knows Water Gun, which is a special attack. Um, I think it's a special attack. I don't know, I'll have to look at it. Uh, 
male Lotad, or Lotad. What should we name a Lotad? Uh, its leaf grew too large for it to live on land. That's how it began its life, floating in water. Okay, then why did we find it on land? Water weed Pokemon. Hmm. Alright. Um... We're gonna name him, uh, uh, Bob for Bob Marley. <laughs> Just Bob. All right, so. One more Pokemon we can catch on this route. And it's the first grass we walk into up here, okay. Ooh, it's a Ralts. Uh, it's a male Ralts, but still. Um. That means we can get a Psychic Fighting Pokémon. Now, Ralts evolves, last evolution is different depending on... Uh, actually, you're level 5, that's two levels above you. Let's go... Hamlet. Because uh, it knows Confusion, which could be devastating to some Pokémon that are too low. Or it might know Confusion, I don't know. I forget what level it learns it in this mod. I know it's early. Um, but yeah, Ralts, if it's female, evolves into Gwendever. If it's male, I forget how to pronounce it, but Gwendever is just psychic. The male version is psychic fighting, which I think is worse because Gwendever has all of her points um, into special attack, which is, I think, like 90% of psychic moves are all special. Um, and... The other one is Psychic Fighting, which means it has to split it between Special Attack and Physical Attack, which is Regular Attack. Which isn't as good. I mean, you get more coverage, but you kind of have to choose which way you're going to go with him. Um, horns on its head provide a strong power that enables it to sense people's emotions. The Feeling Pokémon. Uh, now, I should say, there is a doubles clause in this, which means that I can't catch the same Pokémon twice. Um, now, I'm going to say that in cases like Ralts, and I think there's only a few cases, technically the male and female versions are different Pokémon because the last evolutions are different. Um, but usually... And what am I going to name him? Crap. Um, he evolves into a Psychic Fighting, so... Oh, I know the perfect... If you guys don't get this reference, shame on you. Uh, I think you capitalize the last part. Ip Man, which is um, Bruce Lee's master. I like a boss. Okay. Erica, you gotta pick stuff up. Come on. Alright, so let's take a look. Um, but yeah, the dubs rule is... Uh, you can't catch the same Pokemon twice, including its evolution. So if, like, I got a, you know, Rattata here, and then I find a Raticate later on, I can't catch it. I have to catch... That one doesn't count. I have to catch the next one. Um... But I think I'm going to consider Ralts male and female two different Pokemon. And there are a couple other Pokemon, like the Nidorinas, uh, Nidoking and Nidoqueen. Those are two different Pokemon, and they're plainly two different Pokemon, but I'm going to go heal. Um, I'm going to count Ralts as kind of that same way. Uh, yes, I would like to heal. And so we actually have a full team here, don't we? Um, and we still have one more area. Actually, we have three more areas where we can catch Pokemon currently, uh, but two of them are a little bit over our level. And then after we get up to this next town, we'll have two more areas on top of that. So it does seem like I'm getting an awful lot of Pokemon here early on. 
trust me, a lot of them are gonna die. Just... It's gonna, like, be, like, suddenly I'm gonna have a team wipe, six Pokémon are gonna go down, and I'll be down to, like, three, and I'll be too scared to do anything, and I'm shifting my chair here. So. Um. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, run. Dang it. Growl? Okay, that's not too bad. I just want to get away from these things. These things are annoying. And, like, if I'm, you know, just spamming A... Um, it has a chance of killing them. So that's a trainer you can battle. I'm moving around the trainers until I get to the next town, and then I kind of come back down on them. Uh, that's not a trainer, but this one up here is. But you can't see me over the ledge there, which is cool. And you can get this item. Potion! And the trainer down there is a, an actual trainer, but this guy isn't, and actually neither of the guys here are up top. Black Apricorn, and now we can, let's, let's show you, because this little patch of grass here has stronger Pokemon on average, and that too. Um, level 7. See? So we're gonna go with Kalsfer, because he's level 8. And Erica can't hope to kill a Natu. I think Natu, yeah, has flying moves. Uh, we really want to get Kalsfer to the point that he knows Ember, and we want to get, I think, at the top of Bellsprout Tower, which comes up in this next town here, you get to pick the stone that you want to evolve Eevee. Um... So, I would like to get, really, oh crap, Nightshade? Shit, man, how many freaking powerful prick? See, like, I'm a level above it, and it's kicking my ass. Oh. I think there's a rule in Nuzlocke, this is another reason I don't call it a Nuzlocke, but I think there's a rule in Nuzlocke where you can't use potions in battle. You can only use Pokemon held items. Um, I'm just running from this thing, screw it. I mean, seriously. And she's gonna give us uh, the... Crap, what does she give us? She gives us something here. Versus Recorder. Okay. Useless thing. Never gonna use it. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Yada. Go. Go. Thank you. Alright. Um, so I'm gonna save here, now that we got to this city. And I will start the next episode. Let's talk to Sentrit. See what... Erica is looking down steadily. Alright. Well. Let's save. Would you like to save the game? Yes. Saving a lot of data, don't turn off the power. Alright, so I'll see you guys next episode.